Hi everyone and welcome back to the Ultimate Tech Hub. On today's episode, I'm going to give you my 8 expert tips for setting up a secure and strong home network. And if you're moving into a new home or you just want to improve your internet connection, setting up a strong and secure home network can feel a bit <laughs> overwhelming. But improving your device's internet connectivity and protecting your data doesn't have to be complicated. Oh. From updating router passwords to encrypting your Wi-Fi network, here are my eight expert tips for setting up a strong and secure home network. And make sure to watch till the end of this video because I've got a couple of bonus tips to help secure your home network. And remember, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and share this important video. Let's get started. Tip number one, change your network name, which is your SSID and your password. Whenever you buy a new router, that router will come with a default SSID name. So go to Wi-Fi settings and change the name. And right below the SSID is the password. And go ahead and change that as well. And also turn off the broadcast SSID. It's just safer. Tip number two, choose the correct Wi-Fi band for your situation. So the question is, which band do you use? Many routers are dual band, meaning they can broadcast both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands for the Wi-Fi signal. If you have a large home or two-story house, you'll have to use a 2.4 gigahertz band. However, if you have a smaller home, definitely use the 5 gigahertz band. The 5 gigahertz band has faster speeds and better protection from hackers. And you can also try different band channels, like channel 1, 6, or 11 to see if different channels add speed or reduce interference. And one thing to remember, most IoT devices, like smart appliances, will only work on the 2.4 gigahertz band. Tip number three, you need to encrypt your Wi-Fi signal. When setting up your router, you'll have many options for how to encrypt your network. For maximum security, choose WPA2 Personal. This option will help protect against brute force attacks. Tip number four, choose your router location wisely. When at all possible, you want to put your router in an open area in the middle of your home. However, sometimes, depending on your network panel location, this may not be possible. So in our situation, we added a wireless access point in our hallway. Problem solved. Tip number five, update your router's firmware to increase performance and security. Just like your computer or smartphone, your router needs regular security updates to function properly. So make sure to check for firmware updates often. This will increase your router's performance and security. Tip number six, protect your smart appliances like your ovens, thermostats, or smart lights. Many smart devices on your home network are vulnerable to hacking. <laughs> so when adding devices to your network, it's important to change the default usernames and passwords. And you want to set a multi-factor authentication if possible. And also install software updates and security patches. Tip number seven, you need to optimize your printer settings. If you have a wireless printer, then that wireless printer can be a target for hackers. And make sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions on setting up the device correctly. And definitely change the default password and install all software updates. Doing this will protect your printer's security. And tip number eight, be prepared for something to go wrong. When setting up or maintaining your home network, you won't have a good understanding of how all your devices are interconnected. So make sure to write down security settings and passwords for all your devices. You want to learn how to do a hard reset of your router and your modem. Most networking issues come from those two devices. And make sure to have your ISP's contact information handy, just in case you need some help. Bonus tip number one, Install a VPN on all your devices. Installing a VPN on all your devices will allow you to surf the internet anonymously. And a VPN can also improve things like bandwidth and efficiency. Bonus tip number two, change your admin name and your password for your router. So the first time you set up your router and you type in your IP address and you're at the admin screen, well in most cases, the default admin name is admin and the default password is admin. So you want to change those immediately. Otherwise, any hacker can get in. 
And I've got one more bonus tip for you. Make sure your firewall is turned on on your router. Simply go to the security settings tab and check mark both IPv4 and IPv6 firewall protection. And that's it. Well guys, we're all done here. I hope you learned something new about securing your home network. And remember, if you like these videos, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love them, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thanks again for watching.